Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you for stopping by Healing Conversations with Z. This is going to be my last video of the day. Actually, today was a little sunnier than yesterday. And so, um, and I got an earlier start. I can honestly say that I got an earlier start than yesterday. <laughs> learn, learn from your mistakes. Yep, <laughs> I sure did. I learned to do it earlier instead of um, later in the um, day. I went for a walk today, so I kind of feel better, and I was kind of feeling weird. Um, when you go outside, you do feel better. The air, when you have the air blowing on your face, and you can smell the air. And Not that I'm looking at the people and stuff like that, but... Um, just getting outside because I like going over by the water. Okay, these cars are really, really, really talking, so I need to stop. Um, but I like to shuffle them just so you can see the camera shuffling them. Um, I might do this a little different. I'm gonna probably just pull this will be like my little fluffy reading. I'm gonna pull one or two of these and then I'll pull more from those. Because I think that make, makes it a little bit more. Just trying new things. When I get my other cards, though, I'll have more choices. With, um, using uh, flowers and birds and trees. Things like that. So, what's the message from the butterflies? Oh, that was quick. This one. Pretty. My patience is being rewarded. My turn will come. Mm, that's interesting. And it says, the bottom, my intuition is strong and clear. I trust the voice within. So, Whatever you were being patient waiting on is coming. All right. Let's see what else comes up. So focus on the positive. Yep. Sometimes you got to wait for your turn. You know, when you rush things, it gets messed up and it's not, it turned up and turn out the way you want it to turn out. But at the same time, you learn learn from your mistakes. That's why you, you know, I guess apparently whatever happened, you, you're learning from the mistake because you might have been rushing before. I'm not taking those. Nope. Too many. Act right. We on camera. They don't care. a whole bunch of them more tried to come out again. Hard headed. Know your truth. You know why after you learn from your mistakes you need to know your truth and know that you're never alone. And I think that's why a lot of people were forcing things because they thought they were by themselves. You always have help. You always have help, but a lot of us don't. Some people don't believe they have help. They don't believe in that. I don't know. I guess as a child, because of the things I've seen and I've experienced, you know, I know it's other stuff going on. I've talked about the little space people before. <laughs> Be patient. And that's, you know, it's a virtue, you know, and that's why you're going to be rewarded. Somebody's going to be rewarded. Like attracts like. 
So try to be a good light. Don't be a don't be a dark one. Don't be the darkness. This card keep coming out. You are here for a reason. Be kind, because kindness counts. It does count. When you nasty to people, this bad karma comes back on you. Trust your intuition. That's your inner voice. A lot of times, we, we've been taught not to listen to that. They say, oh, that's just your imagination. I remember being told that as a kid. And I would hear stuff to tell me to do stuff. Oh, that's just your imagination. You don't, you, you didn't really hear that. Yes, you did. Your intuition will keep you safe. Understand your body. I keep getting this too, so that's probably part of your intuition. You know, we, so we have, you have to relearn how to use your, your body. This little space suit we got. It, it, it does things, but we don't know what it can do. Because we were told, no, don't do this. Do this. Don't listen to that. Do this is what I what I have to say. Oh, divine masculine going to get some going to get the mail. <laughs> I thought he was a listener. Yeah. Give without expect expectation. When you share. Make sure you give to people not expecting somebody to give you something back. That's bad karma too. You're supposed to just give. And if you get something back for it, that's cool. But if not, don't worry about it. You don't get it from them, you'll get it back. Accept struggles as lessons. You know... When you begin your journey and you start waking up to things, you're going to struggle because we're all a work in, in progress. Um, you're going to fall down. You just get back up. Fall down, get back up. And as you do that, you'll learn and you'll be able to explain it to others You know that, that are going through the same situations as you. Anything else? Follow the golden rule. This keeps coming up too, so apparently somebody's not following the golden rule. Do unto others as you wish them to do unto you. When you do jacked up stuff to people, it comes back. It really does. Treat people the way you want to be treated. And I think that's why whatever is going on out, out there, that's why that's going on. Because people were not treating people right. Oh, wow. They weren't treating the earth right. They weren't treating... I've been reading about so many animals being abused and all kind of... It's, it's just a lot of stuff coming to light now. You know, you need to do that because it's karma for that too. Set your intentions. When you decide whatever it is you're going to do, you need to set your intentions. You need to have clear intentions. And in order to do that, you need to go within and listen to your inner guidance. And understand calm is not a weakness. You know, a lot of people think because you... A lot of people are used to that... Um, reality tv somebody do something and they get them back and it's always fighting and it's always this i gotta get her back she can't do this blah 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 being calm is not weak i've been called weak so many times but it, but karma has always come back and then they say oh wow now i see why you didn't act up you know why you didn't go off you go off you just make make the situation even worse Make each day count. You don't know when you're going to be called back home. So 
So when you out here doing your work, if you're doing it, make sure you make each day count. Make sure you're kind, you're explaining a lesson or let people see a side, you know, let your let your actions speak for you. That's what I'm trying to say. And possess self-confidence while you're doing it. And express your feelings to people. You know, we don't always do that. We're always told, hold your feelings in. You know, if you hold your feelings in, if you tell it how you feel, you're weak. Not true. Never judge another. You don't know what people been going through. What kind of hell they in. Because hell is here on earth. It ain't somewhere else. It's here. In the here and now. If you're in that frequency. I'm just going to pull a few more. Release toxic relationships. You know people that don't... They always into drama... Always, it's always an issue with them. Always doing something dirty. Always getting you into some mess. You need to let them people go. That's third party. Third party. And it doesn't have to be a person. It could be a thing. You know, drugs. Whatever. Don't relinquish your power. Never do that. You are more powerful than you no. And that's why things are done the way that they're doing they're being done. Cause they don't want you to know how powerful you are. They got us stuck in the house. What kind of not that we're really stuck, but we are. Don't have any work. Don't even don't have their work. It's always spiritual work. So as, as long as you are aware of that, you you always have work. And you'll always be provided for. You'll always be abundant. You'll always be growing. Always. But you have to be in that frequency. You can't be in the negative frequency. If you're in the negative frequency, you're always going to think of, oh, I don't have, how come I don't have this? I need this. I don't have this, blah, blah, blah. You already have it. You have it. Is right here at the tip of your hands. You have everything you need. You're not hungry. You're not homeless. You got clothes. You got. You have more than enough clothes. You got more than enough shoes. You got your health. And the people who don't have their health. Not that I'm saying anything negative for them. But sometimes it's time for people. You know it's their time to go. Or. They were in the negative frequency and the stuff that's going on out there, it likes that frequency. Negative frequency attracts sickness, attracts illness, attracts darkness. As long as you're not in that energy, you'll be in the light. You'll always be abundant. You'll always you'll be creative. You'll always be where you can share with others. You know, when people, when you say that, people think sharing with people, what, food, money, clothes, what, information. This right here, sharing, is more important than any touchable thing, item that, that you could have. What's up here is more important than this. They could take this away. Can never take this away. Never, never, never. Unless you give it away. That was a channel message. That's it for now. Oh, wow. That's funny. Thoughts create your reality. Um, and abundance is your birthright. Birthright, but right. That's it. I didn't expect this reading to go that long. Um, but, yeah, this is why when you understand, this is why you'll be abundant because you're being patient. Being patient, I'm going to call this, being patient will, will get you, your patience is being re rewarded. That's what I'm going to call this. Alright, you all take care.
I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace. Thanks for stopping by Healing Conversations with Z.